You know what? Uh, Smart, number one, is the key guy. He's so good with the ball in his hands. He creates so many problems with his ability to break down the defense, create uh, help opportunities to where we're, all of a sudden you're, you're playing out of, uh, you know, step helping and recovering and you're getting into rotations that are really long because they shoot it well. I thought that he was terrific. Cam Thomas, you know what? Uh, he, he was absolutely phenomenal tonight. He looked like a lottery pick today, uh, the way he played. He he, uh, he gets my vote for freshman of the year. My goodness, he, he's a talented, talented kid. And he really let the game come to him. He didn't force much. I thought days, having him back in the lineup, you know, he hit big threes first half. But we were, we were really poor defensively, inexplicably to me, uh, Neil, in so many ways. In transition defense, we gave up so many baskets. I mean, I looked at the, the stat sheet this minute. They had 24 points, I think, in transition. That's like crazy. I mean, and we had problems just like matching up and not communicating. I was really, really disappointed in our transition defense. And then the turnovers we did have, which were 15 to 8 for them. I mean, our, we had 15 turnovers. They led to like 26 points. Every time we turned it over, it was a dunk at the other end. Uh, and again, some of those are freshman mistakes. But, you know, we, we, we just uh, played very poorly defensively. Give them credit for being so good uh, offensively. They're top, like I said, they're top. They were eighth in offensive efficiency in the country uh, last week when I looked at it. Uh, and I, I thought, uh, you know, the uh, turnovers they forced with their presses, with their zone, it, you know, we shot 53%. And, and we had a chance there. We had the game on, on uh, Davon's big time dunk that put it up. How much time was left? Seventy three seventy, Neil. Do you know? Uh, just inside of ten minutes. I thought it was even le later in that, but that that play right there. So if it was just inside of ten. That means we scored seven points in the last ten minutes of the game. Yeah, and I'm double checking too to make sure that. I think it was around six minutes when that happened, but still. That was, I thought that was a key juncture where we could have really made a push because we got really infused with some adrenaline on that great play. And they came down to score it on us two or three times in a row really simply. I mean, an out-of-bounds play for a layup. Just like simple things that just can't happen to beat a really good team who's a tournament team like LSU is. 801 is the answer there, 73-70 and 801 on the dunk by okay. David. I thought he had a great first half in particular. He really did a good job uh, in terms of uh, playing with poise. I think he was six for seven in the first half. He did a great job helping us get back in the game. Uh, and, uh, you know, just proud of how he's developed and how he's playing for us right now. And you can see he has a, a very bright future uh, ahead of him. You know, he still has a lot of things he can get better. He made a lot of fresh mistakes tonight, especially at the defensive end of the floor. He's got to learn to sit down lower when he's guarding. Like Smart was able to go right by him a couple times. Uh, and we didn't do enough to get DJ more looks. I mean, DJ only taking eight shots. That's not enough shots for DJ. And so we've got to do a better job and, and give their defense credit to somehow limit him to only eight shot attempts because that hurt us, uh, not getting DJ more looks. Yeah, we thought we had a mismatch with him down low. And uh, I thought for the most part, he did a good job defensively trying to guard Wofford and stay in front of him. You know, Days hurt us because he was slipping to some pops, get some wide open threes. But really the thing that's so frustrating is how many shots we gave up in transition. And how many times, you know, they got rebounds and kicked it back out. I and mean, we had, tonight, I was told by my uh, – Director of Operations, my Moynihan, they had 12 uncontested threes and made eight out of the 12. So that was a killer right there. And then a lot of layups, 48 points in the paint. Uh, 
you know, just you know, 67% for a half. They only missed 23 shots tonight. So we really didn't have a lot of opportunity to transition because we were taken out of the net all night. Thank you. You bet. We'll start the media portion with Paul Jones and then go to Garrett. Paul, start us off. Coach, uh, just curious about Cameron Matthews. Obviously, he didn't play tonight. Yeah, the, a coach's decision. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, I didn't play him tonight. It was just my decision to not play him. You know, uh, gotcha. Fountain was playing so good tonight that I, I decided we would go with him and let him play the bulk of those minutes. And I thought he did a great job of it. We'll go ahead and swing it to Garrett. Garrett, go ahead. Uh, ben, you get great offensive balance. Uh, four guys in double figures. Um, and one of them is not even DJ. How frustrating is that to, you know, get such great offensive production and then allow LSU to shoot 61% from the floor? You know, 62%, I believe. Uh, it was very frustrating because I thought, you know, offensively, when you score 80 points, you should be in, in a very close game. We just, uh, you know, did not do the job at the defensive end of the floor and made a ton of mistakes. And give them credit. They're really good. I mean, Camp Thomas hit some unbelievably tough shots. A guy's hanging on him. Uh, he had the first one go in, for, which was a bank shot to start the game, which uh, was frustrating because I thought it was very well defended. Uh, you know, Smart was terrific. I thought Days was terrific. Watford uh, is a very good player. I mean, you know, those guys are, are those four guys. You know, are the best four players offensively in our conference on one team. John Stockwell. John, go ahead. Hey, Ben. You mentioned defensively uh, how they kind of hurt you guys in transition. Based on what you saw from you guys defensively tonight, do you think – was it really concerning, like, moving forward, or do you think that's going to be something that will be an easy fix in practice uh, to kind of fix what, what – what You know, you know John, John the last five games, our defense has been absolutely terrific. We've been great in transition defense. So really, it's inexplicable to me how this occurred tonight because we've been so good. Uh, we've been right there in every one of those games. Had a big win at South Carolina. You know, played great defense against Iowa State, and I mean, we really got hurt tonight. I mean, badly uh, in transition, and uh, just no excuse for it. But I, I, I assure you, that won't be a long-term problem. 